In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your objects appear smooth using Pro Builder. Sup guys, Adam here from Pixel Mystique. I make games and I help others to learn game dev. If you're new to this channel, do consider subscribing to get game dev tips, tutorials, and inspiration. And hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new videos. To achieve a smooth look, adding more subdivisions or edges is effective but can be resource intensive. So instead, you can use the smoothing tool. So this often works well for simpler meshes, such as cylinders. So as an example, let's create a cylinder and let's leave the sides to 16. Click on build and then let's move this aside and let's create another one and let's move this aside as well. So these are completely identical cylinders that we have right here. We can access the smoothing tool by clicking on smoothing. And immediately you can see that there's a preview of the areas that will be smooth. Right now I have uh, this preview button selected. So it's showing me this color. If I remove it, there's no more color. I can also remove the settings menu if you just want to look at this default view. But I have it on so that I have more control. So I can click on settings and preview to indicate which um, color will represent um, this group number here. And then you can control the opacity of how much you want to have the preview of the smoothing. Now, sometimes the smoothing effect is applied by default. So right now the cylinder is smooth. What we can do is select the entire cylinder, double click the face, it will select the entire object and then click on clear selected faces. Everything becomes yellow, it's no longer green and you will see that there's no blue indicator on number one. Now, as you can see here, there is already a difference between these two cylinders. The hard edges are very visible here, where else by default, this cylinder right here is very smooth. So to apply this smoothing effect, you can select the faces that you want to smooth. So for example, let's say we just want to smooth this part right here. And maybe you want to smooth this parts down here. You can hold shift and select these different faces. And then let's put this into group number one. As you can see, these faces, this part right here, remain as hard edges, where else the top and the bottom, because we have chosen it to be part of the smoothing group, they are now very smooth. So if you look at the entire object, it's not like it's adding more subdivisions and lines and edges. It's exactly the same, but it creates this illusion that it is now a very smooth object. This can be very useful if you're trying to do certain objects like maybe barrels, um, maybe cans or mugs uh, without having to add any more um, lines, edges, and loops. You can also decide to include them in different groups. For example, if I were to select these two right here and select group number two, they will now react differently. So if I were to select all these right here and add them to group number two, As we select them, they are going to be highlighted yellow and then the ones originally selected for smoothing, the top and bottom, will remain as green. This is more of a grouping sort of feature and unfortunately you do not have any control over how smooth an object is. But it's a pretty straightforward tool, it really helps um, 
uh, with coming out with very smooth and curved designs. Um, for more advanced uh, objects, you might want to consider using uh, the bevel tool, which I'll touch on and make a video for it in the future. But for now, this is a very quick, uh, simple tip for those of you exploring Pro Builder and figuring out how to make things smooth. Well, I'm off to my trip. I'll be heading to Melbourne, Australia. If any one of you are around in that area and you want to hang out, do message me on Discord and then we'll see you there. Special thanks to my Patreon supporters. It is due to their generosity that I'm able to make more games and more videos like this one. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more game dev tips, tutorials and inspiration. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.